They can't be in the lab. The it's like part of an essential service, you know. Well, yeah. Think, well, yeah. I mean, Kevin Peterson. It's going on five months now. Who's Kevin Peterson? The black guy. They were trying to make an angel out of him. I want to know. The one that was uh, said, I'm going to beat bullets to the cops uh, when I show up if there's cops there. Which was this a local He's a Hazelville one. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's the one that said, I'm a racist. I hate white people. So I guess he hates his girlfriend. Too. Was he the one that was shot by the police in Hazelville? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the cops are already back on the road. My son was there. Luckily, oh. luckily he got the promotion to sergeant because he couldn't have a shooter. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he'd be marching out at his house with you know, yeah. signs saying you're a murderer and yeah. all that bullshit. It's crazy. It is just crazy. Like his dad. His, I know so many people. Uh -huh. really. Yeah, you know, you know everybody. everybody. I know more people than the sheriff knows out about this investigation. Uh -huh. So I sent him the information. I find out about it. I ran into that chaplain who said he did the, uh, whatever you call it, the thing after the fact, consulting everybody, you know, trying to know whatever about the deal. And he's told me that KP's dad says, well, yeah, if you had a gun, I guess it was justified. <laughs> the next day he wakes up with dollar signs in his eyes and oh, no. George Floyd attorneys had already contacted him. He does a GoFundMe page and said, my unarmed son was murdered by the police. He knew this son had a gun. Now, to me, that, no one's going to do anything about that. That's not getting money for false pretenses. So he got 70000 as opposed to George Floyd. And George Floyd was terrified. He had that. George Floyd family got $20 million. So these attorneys just reach out to people. That's their retainer. Yeah. They're never going to be a filing, I don't think. Because how could you ever win on a case like that? He's got a gun. Yeah. But that's the whole thing now. He's, you know, I know friends. I, I know friends. I ask, well, how, how are you, why were you a friend of his? Yeah, he's kind of a dipshit. We talk on some our chat. Uh -huh. Even friends would say, why do you say this? I mean, I got, I, uh, someone sent me literally. And there was 2,367 pages. I said, I don't want this shit. On the computer of what? Uh, of his hate mail. Why'd they send it to you? Because they knew my son was involved in the incident. Ah. And that the county's being sued and stuff oh, like no. that. They would say oh, such stuff. So, you know, I hate white people. I'm racist. And people say, Kevin, that's stupid to say. You gotta be careful though. Like, don't get yourself embroiled in this. Oh no, right? I, I, I know nothing like that. Why yeah. I said, the don't worry, account, don't send it to me. Send it to risk management. That's <laughs> a good, that's a good point. <laughs> no, that's what I said. Yeah. I said, yeah, but no, like, do you know? Mm. Like, Gosh. I'm saying, but do you know? You know? But no, most people don't. Yeah. Even in the Columbia article, if you really look at, you got to look at the movie. And they attach the movie. Then you'll see. If you look just for a glance, you'll see his little, because I couldn't take it out of the description when the, whoever it was, when the Pierce County, whoever released the first movie, it shows right there. It says, if you're a cop, if you're a cop on feeding you bullets. Uh -huh. So when the police go out there, they kind of know we could be dangerous. How do you feed bullets and don't yeah. have a gun? You listen to that tape, it's my son Eric saying, Look out, he's got a gun. No, he's screaming uh -huh. The first voice you hear on that video is him warning them he's coming around the corner with a gun. Uh -huh. You don't know who he's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot a pedestrian, I mean shoot somebody out there. But I think he had a death wish, not uh -huh. me or something. He he calls his girlfriend to say goodbye. Oh wow. And then she won't release her phone. Mm -hmm. So they really don't know what taxes he was saying. Mm -hmm. But he was so dumb. So oh, another version was he thought he was going to go to prison for life, you know, for one deal. Maybe a year. I don't know. Probably get the version. Probably get a drug court. But anyway, he was calling to buy. And then supposedly, then she comes out with this false narrative that well, they shot him, you know, 30 times in the back. He get shot once in the back, you know. Mm -hmm. but unfortunately, got shot. But, they were very, very convinced, and it still might be the story that he got two rounds off because there's two bullets missing out of a gun. Assuming it was full, but if it's a 20, whatever, it's 12, 12 shots, and you only have 10 in the end, but yeah. it's not missing two. Right. But they were even checking the guy. Everybody said, I was checking different bullet holes because one guy thought he was shot. Mm -hmm. His adrenaline was gone so much, he didn't even know he'd been shot. Oh my but God. they heard shots. Yeah. So he, they thought he fired, he didn't fire the first shot. Even if he didn't, I mean, you see the video, hell, they, they told him a couple of times, drop your gun, drop your gun. Mm. And he didn't drop his gun. He's, you know, it shows him right there. His dad says, well, it's us with Denver. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? So, your, 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 so <laughs> your son was there for the, the whole incident? What? Your son was there? Oh, yeah. Him? How's yeah. he doing? Well, he's, you know, he, he actually met, uh, what was it? They met with one of the guys. Yeah. Maybe the son's okay. Yeah. But they met with one of the guys. Just to go visit with them, talk to one of the guys. No, they never, they ever released once 
that one of the shooters was black. Well, one of the police officers? Yeah, or? I guess right. that doesn't match on there. Yeah. Oh, God. But you think they say if it's such a big racial deal, maybe you should have given it one of the officers who thought he was going to get killed himself, shot him. And he was black. So, I mean, it's, I mean it wouldn't have mattered if the guy was green. <laughs> this is the point. But yeah. it's just this narrative that there's like wholesale killing with minorities mm -hmm. <laughs> or something. Gosh, yeah, every every case. Even that article, and I saw that lady, and I even said it to other people. I said to my son, the lady from the uh, NAACP, and I was almost a lifetime member. My first job out of college was working in an all black community center. Uh -huh. And that was funny. I said, I was there talking to white guy. Uh -huh. It's racist. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's good. It's, it's good to feel what that feels like, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. Important. But anyway, yeah. yeah, I didn't, I wasn't discriminated. I felt bad about it at all. And yeah. I coached and uh -huh. counseled and did all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But this lady, she talks about the blacks being murdered here in Clark County, allegedly armed, allegedly. Like, throw that stuff out there. You don't know the facts. It's not allegedly. Mm -hmm. He had a freaking gun and they got it on video. Huh? And you put a, and you put this, uh, you know, distrust out there in the community. It's still the same thing. You know, they want to argue that because there's whatever, I think, exactly, yes, there's 4% blacks in Clark County. But there's 12% blacks in the jail. So does that mean we're automatically racist? Mm -hmm. Does it? Not necessarily. I mean, that doesn't, because I, I, yeah. I did one other day where three black guys shot and robbed this guy. They were in the neighborhood in North amount of time in the Clark County Jail. Yeah. You know, you can, they won't go to trial for a year or so. Yeah. They'll be off to prison for, I assume, six or seven years for robbery and shooting somebody with a pistol with them, too. Mm -hmm. They're a nice kid, put it that way. And he was a Spanish guy, so is that racist? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, every, every, the bottom line is every case is different. We have to look at the facts of, of every oh, yeah. single case. But there's so much anger out there now. Oh, yeah. I just I feel like we're, we're, on, we're falling off a cliff. I was going to say a joke, but I remember this one lady. She was after the fact. I mean, she's a black lady. She accused me of being racist and whatever. I said, okay, I was racist because I rule against you, but you admit this is brand new Brazilian hardwood floors that you didn't like the color of it, so you rolled it all in white. <laughs> and, and the and, I can't remember, and the you know landlord, mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what they were. Oh, it's a small claim. Yeah, small uh -huh. claims. I said, yeah, but it's brand new. They're like six thousand dollar for the Brazilian yeah. floor. They came yeah. in and said it's gonna be two thousand dollars. Sand off all the white paint, and they don't even know if they can get it back to the original thing. Uh -huh. I said, you know, back then the backs, you know, wasn't, you know, whatever it was, I said it could have been five, but anyway, you know, so I, I ruled against the, you know, the other minority couple, mm -hmm. <laughs> not because they're a theater or whatever, it was because they were right. Yeah. And she just had it in her mind. I mean, she was mental. Yeah. You know, she said it was too depressing to have the dark floors. Like, and she said she did a nice job. Oh, and she was just a tenant. Oh, yeah, she painted up all the Brazilian floors. Oh, white. yeah, white. And then the landlords wanted to recoup that damage, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, get it back to the. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, no, that's awful. I know it's awful. And then I remember, but they were they're Puerto Rican. That's yeah. They're Puerto Rican. Oh, God, that's awful. How would she not think she'd have to pay for that? Come on now. Know, because she's did she think she was improving it? Like, I've made it better? They, they owe me money for my just, No, she didn't want to. It was depressing to have dark floors. Oh, got it. You had dark floors. You were depressed. Would you be in white? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, guess I can't know until I'm in that situation. Okay, so really quickly, with the, the pre-arrest of urgency.